I'd like to give us dreams that are relevant to our marriage. When we have these dreams, we know that the Lord is talking to us about our marriage. We have to take counsel, either to pray, either to be on the guard, be it as a warning. You know, these dreams, when we have it, we know that it is concerning our marriage. It has one thing or the other, either to affect it positively or negatively. It has to do with our marriage. It has to do with our marriage. These are the first things I'm going to mention now before we go into counsel and into prayer. When you have these dreams, then you know you need to pay more attention to your marriage. It is talking to you about your marriage. <clears throat> Amen. The first one I would like to talk to you about this morning is if you are having a dream that you are seeing a former sexual partner, maybe the person that is virgin to you, maybe someone that you were in a relationship, you were dating in the past and you had promised each other marriage, but things is not work out and you constantly see them in your dream, especially when you pray anything relating to marriage, you know that you are in covenant with such a personality. A former sexual partner, the person, the man, the woman that disvagined you, someone that you were in relationship in the past, it means there is an evil soul tie. When there is an evil soul tie, of course you know that you this one, this present relationship cannot work when you have a soul tie with someone else in the past. So I'm not going to explain all the dreams because it's going to take all our times. I'm just going to give us all the dreams at the moment. So if you see someone the first man of the first woman you were in sexual relationship or your former sexual partner, you know it is relevant to your marriage. When you find you you have a dream where you lose your shoe, it is relevant to your marriage. When you have a dream where you are seeing a shoemaker, a shoemaker, you understand you are contacting a shoemaker or you see a shoemaker shop or a shoe repair shop or shoe anything, you know it is really relevant to your marriage. It's telling you you need counseling. You need marital counseling. Amen. We, a dream of you cooking in the kitchen has to do with your marriage. Yes, a dream of you taking bath in an open place where some people could see you and you feel that, oh, no, you shouldn't have done that. It is relevant to your marriage. It's an unpardonable error. Okay? So let's take note of all these things that we are listening to when you have this type of dreams okay when you have a dream where there is a violent action between you and your in-laws whether there is violent or there is no violent especially when there is violent when you have a dream and you see your in-laws in the dream of course you know it is a dream relevant to your marriage when you have a dream where you are seeing your wedding gown your wedding picture or your wedding certificate or the bible you exchange or that the bible you received on your wedding day you know that that sort of dream is talking to you about your marriage when you have a dream where you are seeing your matrimonial bed or you probably see another personality on your matrimonial bed you know it is a dream that is relevant to your marriage all those dreams have their different meanings i'm not here to interpret those dreams today but I want you to be on the alert when you have such dreams, okay? Uh, on the alert, that is to take counsel, to find out what the meaning of the dream is, then to pray and to see what wisdom action you need to take in your marriage, okay? When you have a dream, when you have a dream where you are seeing another stranger on your bed, whether between you and your spouse or just you or your spouse, of course, it's relevant to your marriage. When you have a dream where you are seeing bed, it's if the dream is highlighting bed or bed linens or your bed cover or anything like that, you know it is relevant to your marriage. When you have a dream where you are urinating in the open, where you are urinating in the open, you find yourself going into the toilet in the open, and people could see you, you know it has to do with your marriage. In a dream where you find that you are being smeared with urine or feces, you know it is relevant to your marriage. And we all know what that means. It means rejection on the way. 
when we have a dream where um, a dream of relevance to spirit husband, spirit husband, spirit wife, or a snake bite, you know that this is a dream concerning your marriage. Okay, it's a dream concerning your marriage. Whether the spirit husband is molesting you in the dream, whether the spirit husband is not molesting you, was about to, or you escaped, or whatever, or you find yourself with snakes in the dream, you know that such a dream, especially with a snake bite, it is relevant to your marriage. It is relevant to your marriage when you have a dream of snake bite in the dream. Okay? When you have another dream where uh eventually when you woke up from the dream you have this jealousy <clears throat> there's this feeling of jealousy over your spouse whether your husband or your wife you know it has to do with your marriage you know it has to do with your marriage so we need to take heed of course when you have a dream where you find yourself being married to somebody else in the dream <clears throat> you have a different family in the dream then you know that the physical marriage will not work as long as there is a demonic spiritual marriage okay so you need to be aware of that of course when you have dreams where you are being when you are playing with snakes when you find yourself playing with a snake the snake is not biting you the snake is you know is comfortable with you you are also comfortable with that snake in the dream it means that is the ancestral power of your father's house and once you are still married to that ancestral power of course they will make sure that your earthly marriage does not prosper okay they will make sure that your earthly marriage does not prosper i hope that when we all have all these type of dreams when we know that there is time it is time to pray of course is not exhausted but at least when you have such dreams you know that it, the lord is talking to me about my marriage there are many women have cancelled and they told me at that time when i mean it was at least late it was then they were now paying attention back to the dreams they had in those days when things were not yet as terrible as it is now so let us pay attention to our dreams okay let us try and pay attention to our dreams as, as especially when it when it concerns our marriage or concerns our children or when it concerns our lives pay attention to the dream and don't always think that the dream you have has nothing to do with you the dream has everything to do with the dreamer if you dream the dream then it is concerning you okay <clears throat> 